Hi, my name is Ashwin, and this presentation is called Immunoprecipitation and Immunoblotting. Immunoprecipitation is a technique used to identify a particular protein by precipitating the protein antigen out of solution using an antibody that specifically binds to that particular protein. Immunoblotting is a technique used to identify a target protein through the use of antigen antibody specific reactions while in a polyacrylamide gel. This is also known popularly as Western blotting. Using both of these techniques together gives an idea as to what the molecular attraction or relationship is between the proteins in question, which is useful for not only identification purposes, but also for preventing interactions between the immunoprecipitated proteins and other extraneous proteins in solution. Now, the paper that I looked at was titled Enhanced Detection of Lipoprotein Lipase by Combining Immunoprecipitation with Western Blot Analysis. In this paper, the researchers were looking at how to detect lipoprotein lipase, LPL, protein using a combination of immunoprecipitation and western blotting techniques. They used a primary antibody of chicken anti-bovine LPL and a secondary antibody of rabbit anti-chicken IgG. Figure 4 in the paper, as demonstrated on the slide, demonstrates the results after the combination of the two techniques were run on the gel. Lane 1 contained the purified bovine LPL. Lane 2 had the LPL with the immunoprecipitated anti-LPL fab fragments, which were added to the the bovine LPL, and lane 3 had the same fab fragments with human LPL, and lane 4 was just the lysis buffer by itself. After the samples were electrophoresed on a 7% gel and transferred over, the resulting western blot was probed with chicken anti-LPL antibody as the primary antibody, and the biotinylated rabbit anti-chicken IgG as the secondary antibody. The results showed that the fab fragments were able to efficiently immunoprecipitate LPL, where the purified bovine LPL had more than 90% recovery rate. Now, strength the strength of this test was that this form of testing reduced the amount of background bands, which in turn gave more clear results during analysis as there was only the proteins that were in question to be analyzed and the extraneous other proteins were not shown in the gel. However, one of the major weaknesses that this experiment had was that it appeared that many of the heavy chains of IgG ended up migrating too closely to the LPL on the gel, which may have possibly skewed the results due to either cross-contamination or that there was too much of the antibody appearing on the gel than was supposed to. From this experiment, a future question to consider is how would the results be if a different type of light paste protein or if a different type of tissue altogether were analyzed using the same method of immunoprecipitation and Western blotting together.